The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Before we could continue today's discourse, pertaining to the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, under the polytheism of privileges given to each and every believer of this church age. It is quite essential for us to note that are we in the controlling power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to understand the word, to take it into your heart, mind, and soul, and clear the garbage that is resident in us, which requires an experiential sanctification of day-by-day -day process. And this experiential sanctification, right from the day of salvation, till to the point of our death or rapture, whichever could occur first. We need to walk a walk being controlled of the Spirit. We need to live a life over the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to be ruling us. Then the power of the old sin nature continually residing in each and every cell of the facet of the body. That's why it is must ensure, it is binding, as our Lord said in John 4, 24. Day, it is a must. He was being designed that he has to die on the cross. He was being designed not out of compulsory, telling to the point, if at all, if it is needful, I will die. No. It has been absolutely designed for us to get that salvation, when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ comes in the form of Monegine, the only begotten Son, the only eligible one to die on the cross. That's the word Dei in the Greek meant to say, D-E-I. Must, it is binding. The same to same way for each and every believer in this church age, it is a must, it is a binding. That to know and to learn this mystery doctrine of the church age, to understand this unique spiritual life, to know and to apply that as your only breath of this walk by purchasing the time, not walking as fools circumspectly, but walking as wise men. It is a must that we need to be controlled of the Spirit, dear brethren. Without the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, it is highly impossible for us to please that great Lord. Neither it is possible for us to walk a walk with our Lord as designed and kept for us in eternity past. That great walk which demands number one priority in our day-to-day -day life of worship. The walk that we walk ought to be in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. The walk, the manifestation in our day-to-day -day life, the process, have to be under the controlling power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Greater our failure to know the simple truths will definitely keep us away. Why are we here alive on this earth? Will definitely make us not to know the reality of the truth which has been given for us in eternity past. Will definitely cause us not to know what are the polity of privileges given to us in eternity past. Dear brethren, the importance of the uniqueness of the church age in this dispensation is very great. Exactly in the same manner, in that uniqueness of the dispensation of the church age, we have been designed out with the polity of privileges, which is also very much important. Without learning or knowing about this importance, if we are going through, we are just living a life which is not at all worthy to be counted in the sight of Lord. You have been given the greatest privileges of all time, never in the past, never in the future will be given to them. These great privileges, with equal opportunity as well, to reach the status of maximum glorification of God in Christ, demands a daily intake of the Bible. 
and this privilege is to know forth how you can take or how you can daily intake if it is not by the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Therefore, rebound is being number one. Therefore, rebound is the only breath that you can survive in the spiritual life. Therefore, rebound is very much essential for us. Without rebound, it is not possible. Without rebound, it is not possible that we can get back into the fellowship. And since we are lying down in this unique dispensation of the church age, the privileges or the stage of intensification in this angelic conflict has been increased. It is not exactly like the past. But now the gears have been shifted. Every believer has been given a royal priest. Every believer has been called on as a royal ambassador to Christ. We are no longer to be tabernacled into the realm of our own bodies after believing in Christ. It is Lord and Savior Jesus Christ tabernacles in us as a Shekinah glory through the indwelling possession of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in us. That meant to say it is not you, it is not your thoughts, it is not your flesh. It is not by the flesh and blood that you think you are going to survive after salvation in Christ. After believing in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your total body belongs to Him. And you need to give total power so that He can absolutely control you. And if there is even a minute thought in our sin which relates with the word deed, followed by even a thought, it is the motive behind each and every thought that we think. And if that motive does not align with the righteousness and justice of God, that means we are out, we are out of fellowship. Lord God, the Holy Spirit who constantly indwells in us, being a silent listener to every conversation, being a silent one to every thought that we inculcate, to every thought that we know, to every thought that we understand. It is first He, whether He has been grieving or what, you need to cross-check. If he has been grieved, then you need to ask a solution again to confess less than the breath that you take. This great breath which has been given to us to really consume, to really think, to really understand is what it has been absolutely nullified in the privileges today. Because a pastor has not been made known that he is a priest. A pastor is thoroughly made not been understandable what is exactly the position in Christ after believing in Lord. And that is what it is happening today in our failures. Therefore, dear brethren, rebound and get back into the subject as we're going to use the privacy of our priesthood through 1 John 1 9. We shall continue in the next tape. Father, we're grateful for the privilege that I was going to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray to help us to understand the reality and the importance of Lord God, the Holy Spirit ministry in our lives, so that we can stay pure for your holiness. A sign of love of holiness is what you desire in us. Help us to understand this for we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.